Hello everybody and welcome back. As requested we have got some more um, ad content and so this will just be explaining a load of different ad types using the Google mobile ads package. So you will need to install that in your dependencies, make sure that your compile SDK version is at least 28 and the min SDK version has to be at least 19. We will be using a sample admop um, app ID so you will need to put your own app ID here and that is all you need to know you also need to generate um, your different ad units IDs for the banner ads and you'll need to set one for Android and for iOS and for your rewarded ad one for Android and iOS respectively and the same for your interstitial ad so um, essentially here we have a banner ad and we've just got the two different ad IDs and we can give it a size so ad size dot banner is the default one which sets a 320 by 50 banner but if we come over here to the mobile ads we'll see that um, we can we actually have different um, enums for different size banners so if we want a large banner can go back here and change it to a large banner so if we see now it's just like that if we change it to a large banner um, and we can hot reload that and we'll see now that the banner is larger than it was before so those are the different enum sizes um, you can check them all out again at Google Mobile Ads um, package documentation here. So that's it. You can also define custom ad sizes. So like with this one, we can set it to um, 300 by 70. So if we hot reload this as well, well actually you will need to hot restart it because on init we do create um we load the different ads so you will need to load the different ads as well so hot restart it and we come back here and you'll see that we have a 300 by 70 um ad so those are some things you can do with banners so we'll just set it back to the ones we were using before um, you do have an ad request here which will allow you to um, do diff um, will allow you to request different types of ads so um, some keywords describing the current user activity so this helps um, the ads to be um, more personalized to whatever is on whatever content there is there's also a content URL test devices so if you're just testing this you can add a test device ID so that you will um, not get blocked by the service and then we also have an ad listener so the ad listener will essentially perform different actions on different events so here on ad fail to load we'll just print out the error and we'll also dispose of the ad and we've so this is all one um, banner ad We've also got here a rewarded ad called My Rewarded and an interstitial ad called My Interstitial. So if we scroll down, we have our banner ad. Before we can even show our banner ad, we have to load it. So this loads the banner ad. And in our code, if we want to implement the banner ad, we can put it in a container and we put, give it a child of ad widget. And we'll set the height to the um, the height and width to the dimensions of the banner ad. So that is all we need to do. If there is a lot of code here and it may be hard to follow along, so there will be a link in the description to the GitHub code so you can check it out there. We'll move on then to the rewarded ad. So um, this can't be initialized here because we um, if we see over here. We have on ad closed and we need to push to the next page using this context which can't be accessed so what essentially we'll do is once the widget is inserted into the widget tree with init state we'll set the ad unit id ad request and ad listener 
So if it loads, we do the same as we did with the banner ad. But when it is closed, we will push to our second page, which is just like the first page, but without the extra buttons, instead it's just a banner ad. So once we push the second page, and then we'll dispose of the ad, and we can also do that one. That's load. And we dispose of the rewarded ad. Now, another thing we will need to do is um, on rewarded ad user earned reward. So this will allow us to, if the user has earned the reward, then um, in the app you'll probably al it'll allow you to give them a certain amount of coins or you might want to say show a dialogue saying well done you just earned this many amounts but we'll just be printing you earned the reward amounts and the reward type and of course we need to load it like all other ads the interstitial ad is just like a rewarded ad but instead of having an on reward ad user earned because this is an interstitial there will be no add to reward so yes it's just the same my interstitial dot load if you want to learn more about interstitials you can look at the video up in the cards right now and importantly we also have the dispose method which at the end will just dispose of all our different ads so let's hot reload so now that our app has loaded, we can go ahead and click on the rewarded ad and we get this little video here and if we close it before time, you'll get this little pop-up and then now that it's finished, we can go ahead but if you want to like, if the user wanted to install, you can press install and take you to the Google Play Store where you can close and I think if we search here you and and so yes we have here it's been printed out we earned 10 coins and so if you are doing this in your app you will be able to just get the result of that and it takes us to the second page now one thing we need to note about the second page is that if you are popping from one page to another the widget isn't actually reinserted into the widget for the tree therefore init isn't called again so um, what you will have to do is use a will pop scope so essentially what a will pop scope does is um, it captures the pop um, the pop navigation so whether you use the back arrow there or the back arrow here um, on will pop we'll actually pop it ourselves and then we will push the replacement that way it gets reinserted back into the widget tree um, it is actually meant to have a return of true or false um, but I just left that out. so yeah um, as we can see this is the second page and when we go back um, we come here if you don't do that you will get errors like um, interstitial ad was disposed of or lad ad did not um, load properly or something like that so the interstitial ad is like this um, we can pop back and then if we go to the next yeah this just takes us to the next page so uh, that is pretty much it for today um, just going through some of the different um, widgets you can use but if you do return to the um, mobile ads package there are native ads which um, actually use um, native code to create ads that look like um, the different widgets in your app so if you want to insert it insert a banner ad into a list of different widgets then it will look just like the widgets and blend in um, but obviously it'll have an ad tag or just look different slightly but it'll still say consistent with your theme so you can go and explore that. I will have links to the documentation and of course to GitHub um, link in the description. So thanks for watching and I'll see you around.